Lawrence Homebrew coming at you with a beer review on a hot, hot day here in Oregon. It's working its way up to 100. I'm not sure what it's at right now, but I've got a beer right now from Rich at Rich's World Beer Tour. One meant to be drank cold and it's not too high of ABV because I tapped out uh, my light beer on tap at the house. So here we go. Here it is. It's from August Shell out of New Ulm, Minnesota. I've had a few of these from Rich before. I've enjoyed all of them. This is a Berliner Weiss. That's right. This is the Apparent Horizon out of their Noble Star collection. Now, this one's kind of unique. Uh, <laughs> this is, uh, this one's considered a Vollbier, meaning full beer, because it's a little higher. I mean, normally your Berliner Weiss are in that like 4.3, 4.5% ABV. This is a whole 5.1% ABV. Um, but it's kind of unique as well. Unique because Berliner Weiss are, of course, Weiss, meaning wheat beers, and they're very effervescent, the champagne of the north, as they called it. But this one has a 35% malt bill made of rye malts, so that makes it quite unique indeed. And then the primary fermentations with yeast and lactobacillus, and then they transfer it to a 1936 cypress wood lagering tank. Check that out and they add Brettomyces and go through a second fermentation for nine more months. Wow, this sounds fun. We're gonna get it cracked open. Woohoo! Now that's what I call a pop. That's something. All right, let's get the pour because these are always fun, should be, if done correctly. Wow, I can already smell it. You see the bubbles rising up? That's what it's all about with these. Look at that color. Now, it might look more orange from your side, but from my side, it's very golden in color. It's, uh, it's, it's darker than wheat, but very golden with a little bit of an orange hue to it. Um, all right, and the uh, head's already kind of faded away. Let's get the nose. Wow, okay. This has got a lot of interesting stuff going on. All right, well, you know, you get the light sweetness, you get the light amount of sourness, a light funk, a little bit of hay grass on there, I'd say, too. But you're getting some other stuff. I'm getting like some peach and apricot notes coming through, along with some citrus, like lemon. I would almost think there's a hint of some orange, too, but it's primarily the lemon. And then you're, you're getting a, just a little bit of the, the rye and an earthiness, probably from the wood. Uh, you're, you're getting that yeast coming through. And now I'm getting a little bit of an apple uh, coming through, like apple juice, maybe an apple cider. Um, and again, a little bit of this woodiness to it. But it's kind of fun how, uh, and there's some kind of spice or banana maybe, I don't know, uh, coming through very faintly on the back side. But I'm, I'm digging on these uh, stone fruits coming through on it. So we're gonna jump in, cheers. Wow, that's so different for Berliner Weiss, so fun. This is great, the flavors on this are very light. Um, it's kind of really smooth and mellow, that lagering tank, that light bit of wood and, and the, the cypress, I mean cypress, that's unique, has just really made for smooth flavors. Um, it's not as sharp as it can be, there's a light acidity in it, but that's light. I mean, it's very smooth. And you're getting this like, uh, this kind of uh, lightly tart lemon flavors. You're getting very faint now, but a little bit of that like peach or apricot. You're getting apple, uh, a, a kind of a mellow apple. It's more of a, it's a red apple. But you're definitely getting the wheat character. You're definitely getting the rye character. But, but what's so beautiful is just how smooth this is with the lagering. Uh, I love that. That whole cypress barrel, that's just something else. The nose also reminds me a little bit of like, if you get like an organic uh, vanilla, no, I don't wanna say vanilla, but, but a organic plain yogurt. If you've ever gotten that, just a plain, a very organic yogurt, where it's supposed to be good for your digestion and stuff, you, you get that little kick of those uh, bacteria, whatever they make it with, and you're kind of getting those flavors. Like I say, the, the wheat and the rye are in there. So it, it's just 
different, but it's really pleasant for a hot day like this. It's a fantastic beer. It's warming up. It's, it's still tasting real nice. I'm, I'm really enjoying getting so much of the wheat character out of this and then some of that rye character, but especially then with that smoothness that comes from those cypress lagering tanks. Uh, that's, that's, that's pretty damn good. So, all right, how are we going to rate this? Well, in terms of a Berliner Weiss, it's not quite as classic to the style. It, it has some of that effervescence. It's not quite as much so. Uh, it is a little higher ABV, and uh, it's kind of interesting that that really does change it a bit, even though it doesn't seem like that much when you're talking about, you know, 6 to 8%, but it, it does make a difference on the style. Um, it, it, and it's not quite as bright in the flavors, uh, uh, but that's because what they did with it. So in terms of style, I can't rate it quite as high. I think it's very good. It's better than a lot of uh, tries I've seen from other places, though, trying to make Berliner Weiss. But uh, I'm going to give it an 83 in terms of style. Now, overall, that, that's a different thing altogether. I can't give it a, a screaming high score. It's perfect for a day like this. But I'm going to go with an 87. Uh, it's very tasty. It's very fun. I'm tripping on my tongue a bit here. But it is 97 degrees, so I've got a good excuse. <laughs> here it is again. It's Apparent Horizon, part of the Noble Star Collection at August Show Brewing. Boy, you know, they make some fabulous Berliner Weiss beers. I don't know really much about their other beers, but they do a beautiful job with these. I would say if you can find any of them in those series, then grab it. Uh, and it's a great way to start into trying sours. Some people don't get past that, and that's fine because it's a good one for a hot day like this. Because this is Kevin at Clements Home Brew saying, Life's too short to drink cheap beer. And I'll see you in the next beer review after I have a bit more of this. I'll <laughs> see you guys.